So on to the next one, Benjamin J asks, I just got a house under contract and have just done a home inspection. They've identified two pages of stuff ranging from supports and foundation uh, to light bulbs being out. What's reasonable and normal to ask a seller to fix? I got this one. All okay. right, so here's what I tell all my buyer clients. The point of a home inspection is not a repair list. It's telling you the condition of the property that you're buying. Right. Right, because when you negotiated price and terms, you were going off of what you saw and what the seller told you. Right. So then when you have inspections, that's your chance to figure out if there's anything additional going on that could affect the value for you. So I would encourage you, Benjamin, to look at that inspection report and look at any items that now affect the value for you. Right. A missing light bulb, probably not. Maybe a structural issue, maybe right. affecting the value for you. So at that point, I would identify any of the items that are affecting the value, try to get a price put to those right. so that you can try to renegotiate with the seller. I will tell you, you know, a lot of older homes settling is normal, yeah. you know, houses are going to shift and move. And really the only person qualified to tell you whether there is an actual structural issue is going to be a structural engineer. Yep. And let's like, just be sarcastic for a second, but we're building these massive houses on dirt and expecting them to stay perfect for years and yeah. years and years. Things happen, things yeah. move, things settle. So just be open-minded to that. If you're looking at an older house, it's gonna be an older house. It's gonna have some blemishes and some other stuff. I would say anything, plumbing, structural, electrical, roof, HVAC related, those are, tend to be your big ticket items. So I would right. focus on those first. 